Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I'm Cam Chak Fisco. Come join me for an indie adventure. You find Trottier, and I'll do the rest. Ah, that's true. All right, Trottier, show up. There you are. Hey, wait, 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 come here. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Well, let's turn her up, Sal, again. Madam Sophia wants another seance. Is he here? Yes. Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Thank you for yes. giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. All right, so we gotta let him do his thing. The second I got the mask, I remembered exactly what to do. I better... It's a bed sheet. Okay, so I need to... Oh, okay, I didn't I'll check the cab... You! Jay, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Threw me for a second. There it is, flashlight. Pick up the flashlight. So now we have the makings of a ghost. To scare the living shit out of him. That's why we turn the lights off. I'm sorry, but Nurab Sal refuses to manifest himself. Well, madame, I have seen... I didn't realize there was a time limit. Crap. Well, we're going to have to get him back up here again. Enough. Au revoir. You lost him again, Indy. I thought you were going to try something. Um... I mean, I, I did... I, I forgot mean, what I was going to do. <laughs> well, let's try again, and this time, try to be useful. It's not that I forgot what I was going to do, it's that I wanted the music playing in the background while I was making my point, point. I didn't realize there was a timer. So... Yeah. That's what happened, Sophia. There he is. It's funny that we get out of the hotel before he does. Well, hello again, Dr. Jean. Yeah, 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 we've done this conversation many Wilson? times. Skip, 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 skip. Let's just get on with it. We've already done this conversation several times. <laughs> Have a... Glad I could skip the dialogues. Alright, so we have a plan, and this time we can actually do the plan. Is he here? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, keep, keep him busy. busy. I'm gonna try I'm something. something. Alright then. Give me a yeah, minute while I set else. him up. Alright, so I need to Thank turn the lights off Thank you for giving me another first. opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. Alright, so... A stitch in time. I'd better wait until it's dark. Oh, okay, I gotta turn the lights off first. Alright, so use the circuit breaker. The lights? What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Nurab Sal is trying to signal us. Alright, so... Use the sheet. Use the mask. Use the flashlight. Oh, I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. It's Nurab Sal! <laughs> well, I, well um, done, Indy. Thanks for the disc. We have the disc now. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we we'll, can find uh, a way to borrow it. it. We'll, we'll return it to him later. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al-Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. Now back to... I better put See, the flashlight Jabbar. back. Oh, cool. He automatically puts everything back. That's nice. I'd better put the sheet back. Yeah. He, he, he took off like a bitch. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Wait for me! It's not like I was going anywhere. I was hailing the cab. Calm down, Sophia. Now we have the stone that we can show to the guy, so which confirms that he's Al Jabbar. Even though he wouldn't tell us his name. <coughs> and then that'll allow us to move forward and uh I actually don't remember where specifically this goes. Now bear in mind, I have three paths in my brain crisscrossing constantly, so I don't remember which one we're on or what goes forward. It's it's a little confusing, because I I I I'm like thinking of three different playthroughs of this game at a given time. 
So I don't remember which one goes to what part. <laughs> so it could be a little confusing. Excuse me again. Yes? Yeah. I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. Okay, fine. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. I'm not sure I should trust you. I'm not you. sure I should trust you. Let me know when you make up your mind. So we don't have a choice. Oh, that sucks. Excuse me. I think this may interest you. Okay, we keep ah, it. We don't... We just show it. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. And the most yep. stupendous find, Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. The I didn't trust Omar him. Omar Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Makes sense. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. Nazis. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? <laughs> I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. Okay, so here's an interesting thing about the way the game works. Considering there are three paths, there is a path where he's a backstabbing, traitorous asshole. That's the case with a lot of the characters, so since I don't remember which one goes to which path, I'm going to be sketch as fuck towards everybody, because I don't remember if they're evil on this particular path. We'll okay, never we give up. up. <laughs> well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple yes. of sturdy camels. Well, we've got a map and camels. A few minutes later... He's going back to his shop. Yeah. That's not wrong. It's a few hours later... You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except for camels died a lot of town. <laughs> camels broke down. Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. What do you ask? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Who will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Sure. I'll take it. We still need to get the squab. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. So he got the mask back, but we need to see if we can exchange the ball if this guy's interested in it. If it's not, we have to come back and exchange the ball for the next item, so on and so on and so on, until we find out what the hell this guy actually wants. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab off. I'm least. Okay. I'll trade you this autographed baseball for a squab. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but I cannot make that trade. Although that shade of white is perfectly in my house. Okay. Hold the squad. I'll be back later. 
certainly effendi. All right, so this isn't the object he wants. The problem is it's RNG. It randomly decides when you play in the game which object it is, so you won't know until you try to trade. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my baseball for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something white would be nice. Something white would be nice. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This beautiful white cane, it was once touched by Queen Victoria. Sure. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Offend. Like I said, you, you, you keep having to go back and forth and slowly learn more and more about what the hell the guy actually wants before you can get what he actually wants. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squeak. I mean Will you trade a squab for this finely crafted cane? Hmm... Hmm... That's a no. I'm sorry, Fendi, but I cannot make that trade. Though it is a pleasant color. Okay. Hold a squab, I'll certainly... Alright. You have fun giving him shit. Alright, so I need to try different objects. Not necessarily white ones. Excuse me again. Yes? Although we can keep doing white ones as well. Can I trade my cane for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something white would be nice. What else do we have? Anything else? Surprise me. Make an offer. Well, how about... This lovely bar of soap? It's 99 and 94 one hundredths percent pure. What's the other six one hundredths percent? I'll take it. You've made a Needless good to say, this Andy. might take a couple of tries. I'd like to make a squab for this bar of soap. What do you say? Hmm. Hmm. This is perfect gift for my mother-in-law. And there it's you so go. color coordinated. Here, have a squab. Thank you. Thank you. Couple of what? All right, so now we can give him the squab and get the, I assume, ticket. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Effendi. Here's your free gift. Yep, it's a ticket for the aircraft, for the airplane. So we just go up, give him the ticket, and that knife we have will sure come in handy. I'd like a balloon ride. Here's my ticket. A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Yep, the skies are ours. For all of 20 feet in the air. So, let's rectify that. We're free! Now we have our own hot air balloon. See, okay, yeah, so these change directions. What we're doing is we're looking for the map. Or, we have the map. We're looking for directions of where to go with the map. So we need to stop it like this is a nomad cap. So we need to go to that settlement. Of course I stole that man's balloon. It's what Indy would have done. Oh wait, it's what Indy did do. The annoying part is the land, you need to sit here and spam click the crap out of it to try to land in the right location and hope you're close enough. We got it. Perfect. Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. Eh, probably a good idea. Alright, talk to the nomad, ask about the map. Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of the map? Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks? Equipment? Where? Alas, Effendi, to describe that I need a map. Well, what do you make of this map? Hmm... This X is... to the south. And... to the east. Thanks for the information. 
So I need to go south one block, east one block. No, I don't want to. I, I, I just want to use the balloon. Use, use the balloon. Thank you. South one and then east one. So we need to go that way. Then when we get over, we need to land to talk to the guy. And when we're in the right spot, he'll actually mark it on the section of the world we're in. So we'll know where to land. We're probably going to be very close to this spot. Right over it. Spam click! Stay here and guard the balloon. Alright, so Hello let's there. ask about the digging. Salam, Appendi. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Were they Nazis, do you think? They had pale faces like you, Fendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm, you are very close to the site. This X is slightly to the north and a little to the west. Thanks for the information. So that should be in this sector. I guess we were that Stay close here. to the ground. Guard God the damn it. So we're going to have to go even higher up to get over there, because we can only go in certain angles, which is annoying. Well, we're here! Got him! Oh, I've seen better landings! Him too. Alright, so I guess we just get out. We can't, like, grab his gun or anything, unfortunately. Um, okay, so that's the big site. That's the vast, uncrossable I desert. I died in minutes in that hellish waste. Forget that, that, That's a description. Look what we found. An abandoned dig site. Yep. Wait, where are you going? I sense the presence of Nurab Sal. I should have guessed. Indy! Hold on, Sophia. Indy! Oh, Sophia! Uh-oh. What's he get for waiting? Sophia? Hmm? Are you okay? I'm in deep. Good. I'll have you out in no time. Hurry! <laughs> Sophia? Uh-huh. Did you find Nurab Sal down there? You're dead meat. Could you speak <laughs> up? I didn't catch that. I said you're dead meat. So we can take the spark plug out of the truck. It won't come out. Or not. Huh. The engine's missing a spark plug and a distributor cap. Ah, oh, we might not actually... So... <laughs> Sometimes you need it for the spark plug. Sometimes you need the other spark plug, the distributor cap, to put it back into the truck. It just depends on which playthrough you're in. So, like I said, it, it's going to be crossing over in my head a lot. All right, let's go to the ladder. No, she didn't sense that hole. She's not a very good psychic. Let's see. Uh... We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Uh, touch the clay thing. It feels like a clay jar. Uh, how well can you guys see? Because looking at OBS, you actually see better than I do. Is that actually coming out that way where you can actually kind of see an outline of everything? It feels like Pure a wooden peg. Feels like a peg leg, huh? Well, it's, it's a wooden peg. Gum? I saw gum somewhere. Oh, that's my inventory. Touch the wall. This feels like a wall. There's no gamma in this game. I could turn it up in OBS, but then it's going to wash out the colors for the rest of it. To be fair, this sequence is supposed to be pitch black. It is for me. I can't see shit. You're literally supposed to be feeling around in the dark, trying to figure shit out. Sharp wooden thing. It feels like a sharp stick of wood. Spear? Ship rib. 
metal cap. It feels like a gas cap. Open gas cap? Now it's open. It feels like a portable generator. Okay, so it's a generator. Well, I just touch this wall. It feels like a wall. Long tubular thing. It's either a hose or a sleeping snake. I hope it's a hose. Let's find out! Let's pick it up! Oh good, it's a hose. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourself. If you want to see more of me, come to the video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fairly well everyone.